um, a thumbnail right then there, but here we are. Let me get some better lighting on this. This is a German beer. This is Vi... I don't even want to pronounce this part with, uh, I'm going to lose my job and ruin my life. Um, Homat Weissbier. It's got some hops and leaves on it, so I'm sure it's going to be good. We're going to try this. And don't judge me with my Crown Royals on my desk. It's Christmas, just got those. I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. It's only Wednesday. I think. I've been sleeping until 10. Also, before we get this video going, I got some tapes in the mail here from my cousin Corey. The Who! Live at the Isle of Wight, 1970. Two tapes of that, as, as well as some Stevie Wonder Greatest Hits and some, some Motown. Motown stuff, huh? So we're going to continue this. We're going to continue that to be in the background. Hopefully we won't get, get flagged. Let's try this. Um, how do you, how do these videos start? Does it show me drinking it? Does it show how good the opening is? Let's try it. I'm doing this one hand. Hopefully I don't spill it all over myself like an alcoholic. Okay, so the opening's pretty standard. It's your basic mouth of a can. I don't think they go into that much detail in these videos. Um, this is part of a big um, advent calendar beer thing that I got for my birthday at the end of November. I think this is, yeah, this is alcohol, 5.6% alcohol per volume. This is, I think this is December 4th. I'm way behind on my, my advent because I'm not drinking every day. That's good. So let's try this, shall we? Yep, that's my full name. I went to Cal State Fullerton. Oh, well, yeah, that is a, definitely a beer. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. How do these beer guys do it? How do they differentiate? These beer YouTubers. I mean, I just... It's all right. I don't know what else to tell you. Cassette tapes! We got a nice collection going up here, huh? I went live uh, yesterday for the first time. Uh, it got deleted just now. It was fully uploaded. But I went onto this phone. This is my other phone because this is my this is my real phone. This is my old phone that we're going off of right here. And I pulled up the YouTube app, and the live stream said it was still uploading. So that was weird. It had it on there as a video, and it said it was still uploading. So I deleted that, thinking that it would stop uploading, and maybe it was going to upload twice. Wrong. Wrong. Deleted it. This is two minutes of me fooling around and around. But, yeah. It's good. Enough about me. More about the beer. Beer! I think that's Vi... Vian... Vian Anger. Wow. Since 1666. Where were you in 1666? Drop that in the comments. Some crazy Germans are like, Yeah, the Martin Luther, very good a hundred years ago. And that reformed theology is very, very good. I'm also, that's a terrible German accent. I apologize to all the Germans. Also, um, eating some Tostitos scoops with this because I'm a man of culture. The Tostito Scoop. Legendary engineering. Back to the tape. It's a little bit off balance. Very, um, very heavy on the left channel. This tape leans more to the left than Don Lemon. the balance adjustment on the, on the volume knob. That's why that exists. You just adjust the balance and we go from there. So, I'm just, you know, texting while I'm videoing because this is, if you're looking for some sort of like production here, you got the wrong YouTube channel. You're in my room. You go by my rules. 
so. I was reading earlier, I was being productive. Now I'm just deciding to throw that in the garbage. So, I mean, this is good. I'm more of a fan of the IPAs. So this does kind of remind me of like a beer flavored urine. Not that I would know. It's, it's okay. It's good. It's it's good. It's a good like, hey, here's a beer for you. Like, hey, at a party at someone's house. And you hand me one of these, I'll be like, all right. I can drive home. Knocking things over. I mean, um, Should we do a, an update on the shelves? I don't think we've ever done a shelf video for these. Yeah, books on the floor, books on the shelves. Yeah, good. We're just walking out right now. Does this help? Can I stand this up on here? That works. So yeah, we're drinking uh, German beer. Weinanger. Ho Hopcheste Brau. Kultur aus Heisendorf These Germans. Let me tell you some other Germans. I don't know if any of you are history buffs or anything. But the Germans decided to go to war. And not just any old war. They went to war with the world. And that, you know, obviously they didn't succeed in. So they tried again couple years later and they went to war again with the world and they lost again because they're crazy so I don't know why they're still around like we're just letting them be a country now like, okay keep bringing us Mercedes and stuff but you know we're gonna, we're gonna drink your crazy beer you and your leather pants all the Germans are going to come after me after this video. Germans. So yeah, we're listening to The Who right now. Tommy, can you hear me? Tommy, can you hear me? I hear some people. I think it's my family. Selling in the hallway. Oh, this, is, this isn't that song. I was singing the wrong song. Um... Yeah, so far, the beer's good. There's my light. That's my other light. In case you were wondering about how I get this face to look so good. Um, I couldn't do this full time. YouTubing? Man. I'm not interesting. I. I've been told I'm funny. I mean, I'm like party funny, you know. You go to a party, someone walks in, and I say something like, hey, those are those bands from last week, or whatever, you know. And people laugh. I can't do, like, stand-up. I thought about it. I seriously thought about stand-up at the beginning of last year. I'm getting my brain trained for 2022. It's 2021 right now. It's December 29th. But last year, 2020, before the globalists shut down the world over a virus with over a 98% survival rate. I was thinking about perhaps, oh yeah, maybe I can do some stand-up. Maybe I can grind. Maybe I can go to my local Irvine improv or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll make something of myself. Do something funny. And now it's like, oh, you, you can't walk into the CVS without a face mask on. We can't apply for a loan without a vaccine. Yeah. I wonder if I should try sipping uh, the beer through my fake mask. I don't know where my fake mask is. Go to fakemaskworldwide.com, the most hated website on the planet behind patriots.win. This video will be promptly deleted after it's uploaded by my tech overlords and all the other crazy people. Don't mind me. Just texting. Because... We can go through uh, our, our local Yik Yak. We can go through Yik Yaks here um, for my particular area. I'm not going to dox myself. 
Although I think I did. Yeah, I showed my address on the thing. You know, I can cut this. I'll cut this later. Um, let's see, the top one. I'm about to hit her up. Literally feel like I'm going to vomit. You know what that is? That's, that's written by a high school kid or somebody. And he's sliding into some chick's DMs. It's probably a, a bot. You know, one of these one of these hoe models who writes on Joe Rogan or on these other big name people. They'll write a comment with an emoji. It'll be something that makes no sense. They'll say like colonoscopy, kissy face, and it's like you gonna get me to click on that? I'm not gonna click on that. Don't click the links, don't give them your password. So I'm gonna downvote that one because I don't like people talking about vomiting. See me! Feel me! You're late, Roger. Oh, okay. Oh, Yik Yak number two. My life is consistent. My life is consistently. That's not grammar. I thought, I thought that was the beer. I read that correctly. They wrote it wrong. My life is consistently feels like the concept of wanting toast and only having the edge pieces left. If there's any empaths out there who can read between the lines and figure that out, too many sentence fragments for me. Where should I go for food? The answer is always Del Taco. I'm not gonna write that on there because I'll be doxed. You'll know what my my yik yak emoji is, and then you'll know who I am when I'm writing sarcastic comments underneath your yik yak thing. So are they called yiks? Are they called yaks? Are they called tweets? I don't know what they are. I'm craving sweets. Yeah, Christmas. Next one. My boyfriend is draining me, but I'm trying to have hope. Dot dot dot. What do I do? Here's what you do. You tell him to stop draining you. Use your words. You're a big girl. Or boy. Most likely a guy. Gays. I'm starting to see things. Okay. <laughs> What's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is uh, opposite of everybody else's. It's always like, get in shape, stop drinking. It's like, I want to drink more. And I got to finish these. I'm just kidding. No. My New Year's resolution, I don't have New Year's resolutions. I'm resolved. Yeah, we're, doing, we're over this. Um, next segment on the show. Okay, yeah, that's... Sounds like the record ended, but the tape's still spinning. Oh, it's side D now. Wait, no. Yeah, it's gonna be side B. Then what's the other tape? I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. It's gotta be something. Maybe it's a quadruple album. So yeah, overall, this beer. Am I, am I doing it out of 10 scale? Let's do that again. This one's okay. I mean, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. You hand me this beer at a, at a party, I'd be like, sweet, man, that's something different. You know? But I like the packaging more than I like the beer. I think it's okay. Oh, there's an app. You can scan the code, find out more information about this beer on the beer tasting app. Well, that's got to be a whole sausage fest of fat guys and beards. Play that right now. What else we got out here? Basic packaging. A lot of German. They gave me their address. I'm gonna write them a letter. I'm gonna type it out. I'm gonna get international postage on my letter. I'm gonna type it on my typewriter. And in fact, let's do a video of that right now. Why not? Because we're crazy. I'm gonna put this over here. I don't spell it. I'm gonna move my stuff here. Am I still recording? Are we still... Are we locked? Okay, we're locked. We're still going. Let me move... I had so much clutter on my desk because Christmas, you know? I got all these stocking stuffers sitting around. So let me get my typewriter out. I'm going to type them a letter. Now, it 
will be in English. So they won't be able to translate unless they actually can speak English. And I'm going to show you guys what my typewriter looks like because this is going to be cool. Move this stuff out of the way. Gypsy, acid queen. That's a good This, ladies and gentlemen, is my Smith Corona Silent Super from the mid 1950s. Also gifted to be by my cousin Corey. Shout out to Corey, guys. Give him a round of applause. Typewriter, turntable, cassette deck, cassette tapes, swag. My man. Go follow him. He actually has good content. Whereas I'm just a mess. Um, we're going to write the letter to the Germans. I think you could put line paper. Can you put line paper on a typewriter? Asking, because I'm a millennial. Want to try it? Why not? Lined, lined college ruled paper. You're all punished. Drop that in the comments if you're over the age of 53. Can you use lined paper in a typewriter? Now I know how to properly fill this thing because unlike most um, people my age I've been able to you know learn a thing or two about older technology let's tab this over let's put the date 1229 the one tends to stick let's show the action here on this 12 dash 29 2000 one. See, it sticks, and you gotta kind of just, you know, put it back there. That's cool, huh? I played the silver ball. So down the curtain, I must have played it all. So I'm gonna say, um, dear Germans. <laughs> Dear Germans, um, I have tried your beer. I mean, bad word. Boom. 
So I messed up when I wrote best. I wrote best. I like hit two keys at once, but yeah, okay. My letter to the Germans. Let's let's show that to the, to the folks at home. Do you think they'll accept that? They're gonna think that this is a affidavit to. Uh... <laughs> I, I I missed a space. Detailed the review. Have a one of a new. No space is necessary. <laughs> I'm not sending this. What is postage? What does international postage cost these days anyway? Drop down in the comments so anyone knows. What's their address? Gerbaut Vaun. I can't even read that. Uh, I'm not 